Good morning, Jay Silver, president of Helicon, and this morning we're out on a very historic uh, runway, Bayshore Boulevard. Many of you have probably done Gasparilla 5K out here, many runs down along the boardwalk. Well, today we're coming out to share with you some reasons why we feel that the walkway on Bayshore Boulevard is pulling away from the seawall. Can you see this down here? The city put this rubber stripping. There was always a little bit of a gap between the walkway and the seawall. So they put this little rubber stripping to protect from water uh, washing down in there and therefore causing further erosion. But today, if you're tuning in, be sure to like and subscribe as we go throughout Florida and talk about different foundation repair, uh, soil issues that we have a plethora of different solutions to solve at a value engineering uh, point. A lot of stuff is non-invasive, uh, save substantial over rip out and replacement. So if you are having any, any type of soil issues, any sinking, whether it's concrete that's sinking, depressions or voids that have popped up, whether that's behind your sinkhole or around your house, be sure to give us a ring. Uh, we're happy to do a free foundation assessment or any assessment around your property and home uh, to kind of give you some evaluation and some options so you and your family can make an informed decision. But today, again, we're out here and it's it's beautiful out here. We're out here in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida on uh, Bayshore Boulevard, one of the historic uh, walkways along the bay here in Tampa Bay. What's going on from the recent storms, the surge coming in and out, is it exposes possibly different breaches or crevices, cracks in the seawall that's allowing soil to erode or wash out. And once that soil is eroding or washing out, you can see where the, the seawall, the walkway has dropped down eh, probably a about six inches or so and again that's that's from the soil eroding out onto the water side you can also see some stress cracks on the top and the cap of the seawall this actually goes down further come on in and check this out you can kind of see this crack at the top and if you can zoom in there it can it'll extend down and I assume I don't know how far down the length of the seawall that goes but the solution for this as many of you that are tuning in knows, I've covered kind of the two most important steps to maintaining your seawall. And that number one is soil stabilization. And this is an example where soil has become unstable because of washout and erosion. And that is causing this walkway to settle down uh, with it. Not only that, it's washing out uh, soil that is protecting possibly different dead man or different structural elements that tie this seawall back towards the road here. So, you know, we want to make sure it doesn't appear those have become too weakened where the wall is going to cantilever out yet, but it is imperative. Uh, one, you maintain soil uh, stability, and number two, that there's some sort of pressure relief valve system that relieves hydrostatic pressure from water that builds up. So in this case, you have some storm surge that comes in from uh, different hurricanes this year. We had first Helene, which was a, a much higher storm surge, and then paired by uh, Milton, which had a reverse surge. So you have the water coming in, and then that water sucking and rushing out, uh, taking that soil with it. So the, the permanent solution that I hope the, the city of Tampa and their officials and infrastructure engineers that they consider uh, before ripping all this out and replacing everything, which the cost for that would be substantially more, if not 80 to 100% higher, um, would be first to come in and do a polyurethane injection process. That involves taking steel little tubes that we would rod down behind the seawall, down to the foot of the seawall, and we would start pumping and upward staging that product approximately about a gallon a foot. And we'll pump that material at 12 feet, pull it up, pump the material at 11 feet, and pull that up. As you can see in this little video clip, how that looks behind a plexiglass 
type enclosure where we're pumping that material in and then it's solidifying the soils in there and then we're breaking that enclosure open and we're trying with a pickaxe to axe the material out and you can see how strong and it creates a crystalline bedrock sealing up again all the cracks and crevices of the seawall that caused that soil loss uh, from the beginning. Once we can do that and re-establish the soil stability along this wall, and you'll see this this is a this is a five mile, and we haven't walked the whole thing. This is a this is a five mile walkway, approximately almost five miles, and this is just one section. Um, but we need to come behind this wall, you know, probably approximately every four feet apart. But you can see here all along this wall. This doesn't just extend. This this goes all the way down this way so it's you know it's it's traveling down and we've you know got some more of these stress cracks it is important to regain the soil stability and i guarantee if you bought our soil probe the soil would be super you know i can feel i can get in here underneath the slab we're looking at a probably a six inch nice thick slab i'm sure with with rebar but i'm getting my hand underneath this slab and it's just i mean it's just a void of space if you look down in here so i assume along this whole path of this concrete is just void of space and you can even you can even see it here kind of on this panel where it's starting to cantilever down where this edge is is tipping and you're going to see some more uh extreme cases of the the concrete sinking as we make our way down but very simple process non-invasive get polyurethane permeation injections that will permeate out through the soil into all the cracks and crevices protecting this wall from continuing to lose this soil and wash out the next step instead of having to to rip these out to re-level them they're they're in great shape you know the slabs are intact it's nice and thick once we regain that soil stability down low we can come in about the size of my finger and we'll patch it over with concrete you'll barely see the it's about the size of a dime um, but we'll drill through the core the the slab and then we'll pump urethane injections different than the one part permeation that we'll use uh, to densify strengthen all the soil underneath up to the surface this is a two-part foam material you've probably seen it for lifting driveways walkways same same product it's a two-part chemical and when it comes down through the gun and catalyzes together it reacts and it expands drastically expands and we'd be able to lift these slabs back up on this side that way the city can come back in and uh, redo this this rubber protection on the the gap here between the concrete slab and the seawall once those are done you know the city probably saved a, a substantial amount as you see we got a lot of folks and a lot of traffic coming by us here as we're shooting this so the great part about that is we can do this pretty non-invasively so it would be able to be done fast it cures instantly and it won't impact um, people enjoying this beautiful walkway let's take a, a quick peek we'll go down to one more section to show you another another example but as you can see we got all of this along here dropping out so as we're making our way down on the inspection I want to take a moment to pause and show you the front side of the seawall and see if we can't see any maybe indications of why soil loss may be occurring on the wall so what we're looking for is really just cracks and crevices on the seawall and right away you can tell right here where they tried to patch one with some sort of uh, cement or plaster it's not really going to be that effective in holding this back from the outside of the wall um, but nonetheless they did try to patch this crack uh, the benefit of what we were describing and you can see some obviously a few down the way here one one there one there kind of on the beginning when we were showing that crack on the inside of the wall it's most likely going to correlate or coincide to the front part of the wall and as we do our process in those areas where you see these cracks on the outside you'll actually see the polyurethane ooze out of these cracks and crevices indicating that it's coming from the it's done its job on the back side of the wall it's done its soil stabilization and increase the soil stability and it's outwardly permeating out through the cracks and crevices sealing those up therefore permanently stopping uh, the soil loss 
So just want to take a moment to pause here and we'll continue on the rest of our inspection. As we're walking down doing our inspection along the seawall out here on Bayshore Boulevard in uh, Tampa, just did want to point out the whole five miles of the walkway has not been affected. You can kind of see at the end of this little loop strip that we've been walking down, you can see where it's tailing off and the settlement looks like soil stability has regained as you look down and as we start walking down along this part you can see where this barrier is nice and intact and there is no separation which is indicative of in this area uh, soil stability is good and uh, let's continue on down the way all right well we didn't have to go far check this out a little slab we're walking along you know you have looks like some indications of where it's getting stress and then down here you've got this slab that just settled down uh, noticeably not as extreme down in the other area but nonetheless another little section I don't know if we can see anything on the can't see much on the outside but again just a another example where there is soil instability and it's it's imperative that they regain that so you know please if you're seeing any of these signs or have some curiosity of whether any of our solutions would be a right fit whether it's a foundation issue sinking concrete uh, seawall could be sinkhole we're the go-to trusted advisor here in florida so give us a ring for your free assessment and call helicon your trusted foundation repair experts <laughs>